All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cause Streams TV. I'm Cause, and today we're gonna take a quick look at two of the mythic bosses we got to test: Rashinon and also Brood Twister Ovenax. This is the mythic version of the fight. So these aren't guides. I'm just kind of going over the fight and what I think of it from a tank perspective or how it felt. So please keep that in mind. But if you're curious on like what this looks like from a first impression, here's what I think. Let's first jump into Rashinan. Now I'm not going to go over the heroic version of the fight. I will talk about what the mythic changes are and then I will drop a description down below or at the top right of your screen and you can take a look at the other videos I have that go into the heroic fights a little bit more. So outside of more health and more damage, the boss mechanics don't really change that much. The major change for Rashinan in the mythic difficulty is that now instead of just getting two rolling acid debuffs now three players get it so instead of just moving left and right respectively you now have to actually make a triangle so that people can stand in the middle of i think adding this into as a mythic mechanic is a great addition to this fight it complicates it a little more but not so much as this is only going to be the third or fourth boss it doesn't complicate the fight too much you still have to deal with all the other heroic mechanics in this fight but that is a major change that takes some getting used to right off the bat we were able to kind of get good control over this the the one change also is that right after the fight starts and you get the spray you get rolling acid but there's no webs on the ground to clear right after rolling acid you actually get the web debuff where players have to run out and drop their web somewhere right so usually what we were doing is just having those players follow the wave as it was moving out because you get the debuff as the rolling acid is about to go off and another change is to the ability called Spinneret's Strands. This ability now in this difficulty will tether players together. And if snapped, it does damage. Or th there's also now Tacky Threads. One person gets Tacky Threads, and that just expires after four seconds. And those who are caught inside of that take heavy amounts of damage. It didn't feel like it was doing too much for us. We had the players stay together. We had the players run out and snap it. It seemed to be manageable in the current state that it's in. I'm wondering if they increase the damage when the raid actually is released on live All right so here's a bit of an example of how the flow of the fight goes right off the bat we get the strands which is the spider webs that actually stick to people and as always the savage assault goes out leaving savage wounds on the tank so here is the uh rolling acid as you can see now it's a triangle these are the strands people run out of and these right and then you run back in and as you saw all these players were all strung together with these strands that snap after four seconds and they take heavy damage it didn't feel like there was a lot of damage coming out so that didn't feel too you know painful to deal with to heal over the spray is the biggest one that you still have to do heavy damage on uh now these little green circles are what you want to run out and they spawn ads right so that you spread away from the everyone they spawn the ads and then you just nuke the ad down um we didn't have too many challenges with the ads either we were you know rolling out uh cap totems uh incapacitating roars whatever we could to stun them and keep them in place yeah, one of the other new things are the webs that come out here. They, if you stand in one of these webs, you will be stunned. You get put into a web yourself that you need to be broken out of. It's super annoying to actually have to deal with, right? And one of the biggest challenges here as a tank, though, is the Savage Assault. The point of this is to mitigate the damage. 60% of the damage you don't mitigate becomes a massive dot that you have to deal with called Savage Wound. Now, as a Blood Decay, if you have heavy stacks of the dot on you, and you, when this boss lifts off, you actually can't heal yourself to stay alive um, because as a death knight anyway i can't death strike as the boss is far away so i was there were some pulls where i had a hard time getting to the next area as the boss flew away because i had the debuff we tried to give me a uh, bop blessing of protection from a paladin it doesn't actually drop the savage or wounds debuff it stays on you anyway so that was really not fun going from platform to platform as the boss moves around because i can't death strike so we did have healer, healers try to focus me but the 10 depending on how much damage i was taking from the dot or if i had two to three stacks i couldn't mitigate enough of it that meant that as the boss was moving from one platform to another i usually would die one of our best pulls actually that's exactly what happened i fell over i died and then we had to continue on that way eventually i got rezzed and we continued that is really the whole fight so major changes from the heroic version is now you have three lines to deal with to make a triangle you have the frontal that will web players if they are stuck in it and those are the major changes some of the tactics that we used is we would use the lock gate early and then we would actually 
take the lock gate and try to be in the position the boss was moving to before the boss got there to help us kick their cast sooner and then not fill up the ground as much so there's different things you can do with this fight for a third boss i think the changes from heroic to mythic are spot on tuning felt good our item level was 610 so that felt fine i think this is a great third boss for going into the new expansion and going from heroic to mythic and next up we have brood twister Avanax. just like in heroic this continued into mythic this fight felt very chaotic there's a lot of mechanical overlap so certain things are actually a little challenging to see even though the colors are completely different for example at one point players get a blue aoe circle around them but you're also dodging blue dark swirlies on the ground it gets a little difficult to see we were having some issues with it on top of that you've got the spider webs going off the eggs you have to break things can get lost in the chaos right so that is a problem i feel for this fight it's just too much happening at once but going into the fight we did try all three areas so so depending on what area you move into with the boss you have different sets of eggs you have to deal with the major change in mythic is now instead of using one debuff from a player to break a set of eggs two people have to use the debuff go underneath the egg and break it otherwise they don't break from what we saw there were six people getting the debuff so you can break up to three eggs there may have been more but either people just weren't moving they weren't telling us so a little hard to tell right what we did is we tried to start in each area the first area we started with had one of the colossus spiders the voracious worms and the blood parasite eggs beside it so we would break all three of those and try to nuke them down that didn't feel too bad it definitely felt manageable the other change in mythic is now that when you go to a different zone each slice of the room actually has a different mutation effect on it and this mutation effect affects how the ad that you spawn in that area behaves the biggest thing about each mutation is that they either they all get 50 percent increased health and then they either and then they have a different ability that goes with it the worms cast 50 percent faster the 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 parasites move 10 percent faster and then the colossus spider now applies vicious bite which is basically necrotic wounds as a death knight this is the worst thing you have to deal with from a tank's perspective i was playing a death knight and you get a debuff on you called volatile concoction and what you have to do with that debuff is it explodes for amount of, for the amount of hit points you don't have so you want to stay as healthy as possible so the challenge with a death knight is you can take a hit and before you hit death strike and heal all your all yourself all the way back up that amount of health that you're missing is what the raid is going to take in damage so just be mindful of that i was watching the timer i was getting myself buffed up but it seemed like there's some even a little sliver of my health being gone was doing a ton of damage to the raid but that could have been a collection of all the other stuff some of the other things to keep in mind we tried some of the other areas that had the three worms so the spot directly on the right has three of the voracious worms that you can spawn right away and then all the way on the left side are the parasites the left side was the most challenging because there's three parasite eggs you crack right away and the parasites move extremely quickly and have a lot of health 50 percent more health brings them near the three million health mark and trying to stun cap totem and keep them in place before they run to their target we were having some issues and it definitely did not feel like a very cohesive very well put together fight like it felt like things were just too chaotic there's too much happening again i think it's mainly because it just it's early in beta we'll probably get there with maybe a little more gear we were tuned to 610 like i mentioned so maybe we'll have a little more gear and it'll be a little easier overall i don't think this is a bad boss i think it may heavily rely on weak ores uh basically weak ores that tell you where to position that give you markers you will definitely need kick rotations so you'll have some anchors there i think this fight will be very dependent on having the right weak ores and the right notes in place which is unfortunate because i think blizzard's trying to move away from that but now they've created a boss that's going to be dependent on that so not a terrible fight i think with some coordination and a few pulls i think this is going to be a very fun mythic fight there's a little bit of everything for someone to do i was very happy with this fight again going from heroic to mythic both versions feel very chaotic so it's hard to say if it's better or worse the boss and the ants have a lot more health and everything hurts just a little more so overall i think both bosses are fine ration on is way better the way it is in mythic than it is in heroic it feels like a boss that has some mechanics you got to pay attention and you and things hurt a little more it's a lot more engaging than it was in heroic and again brutister very hard to say just because of how chaotic that fight was in heroic and in mythic so we'll see how they come out in live but uh we're doing some more raid testing tomorrow and i'm looking forward to that anyway i hope you enjoyed the video that's what the two bosses we got to test today look like have a fantastic day everyone peace out